our latest kitchen project, we have an ambrosia white course. What you guys love to see, the double door, pocket door larder, have arrived at Letchworth today at our workshop. Hey mate, what's your YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> This is Miller's Generation 7000 Steam Oven DG7440. With the steam oven, you will always have to fill the machine through this water jack, which is located to the side. Um, the type of water that you can use is literally anything that you drink. All the machines that are factory set to be used with hard water, but if you have either filter or softened water, you can use it as well. And then, with the steam oven, you will always get a selection of trays, which are both perforated and solid. So most people will associate steam cooking juice with some plain steam vegetables and maybe a bit of fish. But actually, if you end up going for one of these machines, you can pretty much substitute about 80% of the things that you cook on the hob. So anything that you will boil, steam, poach or simmer can be translated in here versus having different saucepans on the hob. The way our steam ovens work is through something called the injection method. And that means that we always generate the steam externally versus internally. So once you fill up your water container, there is a little steam generator at the back, which is going to boil the water. Once the water has been boiled and the steam has been created, steam is going to be injected through two inlets, which are located at the back of the machine. This is going to shock the food with a large amount of steam in just a few seconds. And that means that your food will retain colors, nutrients, flavor. And for things like vegetables, you can retain up to 30% more vitamin C versus boiling or steaming on the hob. The type of things that you will cook with this machine are literally hundreds. So you can do, um, rather than boiled eggs, you can steam your eggs in here. You can do poached eggs as well in the steam oven. Um, when it comes to vegetables, the best thing about steam is that the only thing that you have to do is translate hob cooking times. So if you boil your vegetables for three minutes on the hob, you want to steam them in the machine for about three minutes. Um, another thing that you can do in the steam, for example, will be cooking all your grains. So if you want to do things like rice, quinoa, lentils, etc., no need to ever cook them again on the hob. You just need to do them in this machine. So I've got in here one of the solid containers. I've added some rice. And the only thing that I will have to do in here is just to add um, enough water or stock to cover by one centimeter extra. And once again, following um, cooking times from the packet. So you can, you can already understand that it's literally just the same timings as you will do on the hob. We will use this machine as well for things like um, cooking fresh pasta. You can do things as well like a casseroles. You can poach meat. You can do sous vide cooking, cooking all your fish steam sponge puddings and then on top of that if you don't have a microwave this will be your go-to if you want to reheat or if you want to defrost any food to reheat a plated meal simply place it on top of the wire rack leave your food completely uncovered and select steam cooking two minutes on 100 degrees if you want to defrost there is even a separate defrost function where the machine will select very low temperatures and then it's really easy. Start with 20 minutes and then keep on poking your food. If your food is ready, you can cook with it straight away. The steam oven will come as well with a large selection of automatic programs. So if at the beginning you're not 100% sure how to cook something, they're super easy to use. Let's say, for example, I want to do once again this broccoli. So the only thing that I have to do is select vegetables, scroll down until I find broccoli, and then the machine is going to ask a few questions. Am I doing a whole broccoli or am I doing florets? I will go for florets. And then the machine is asking, are they small, medium or large? So I will go for medium. Finally, the oven will ask you as well, how do you want it cooked from al dente all the way to soap? So just select how you want it cooked, press OK, and that's the only thing that you have to do. This is Miller's Generation 7000 oven H7464BP. As part of this oven, you will get a few standard features. The first one is a drop-down door that can hold up to 15 kilos. So if you're resting meat, if you're doing casseroles, rest assured that you can rest your trays on top of the door and you will be able to hold all that weight. As a standard, you will get as well these three trays. So you get your wire rack, your baking tray, and your grilling and roasting insert, plus a set of flexi-kit runners. It's a multifunctional oven and you will find all the features located right here. So it comes with at least six standard cooking functions. So you've got fan, which is your everyday roasting and bacon. You've got as well conventional, which is top and bottom, and that's designed more for things like slow braising meats, 
um, doing cutter rows, etc. You've got as well a feature which is called auto rows. And these auto rows means that you can sear the meat automatically in the oven as it will do a much higher temperature to start with for the first 15 minutes. The next feature, it's called intensive bake, which means that you can have a fan and bottom hand engaged at the same time. So if you're doing quiches, tarts, pizzas, this is fantastic as it will give you a really good crispy base. Two different grilling options and our grill can reach temperatures of up to 300 degrees. Um, worth mentioning that once you turn the grill on, you will have to do it with the oven door closed. As soon as you open the door, the grill will stop working. The next feature that you will get with this oven, it's called Moisture Plants, which is where you can give the oven a drink of water through this suction pipe, which is located right here to the top left hand side of the oven. So just select the cooking function you want to combine that steam with. So you can select auto roast, fan, intensive bake, or even conventional heat, and then just give the oven a drink of water so you can turn that water into like a really fine vapor or a steam. So if you're baking bread, if you're roasting meats, if you're reheating, this will be your go-to function. Let's say, for example, I want to do some sourdough bread. So I will tell the oven, moisture plants with fan. I will tell the oven a temperature of 230 degrees. And once I press OK, as you can see, the oven is giving me different options. So I can do automatic bursts of steam, one burst, two bursts, or up to three bursts of steam. And the amount of uh, bursts of steam that you need to add is just based on how long your food will be in the oven. If you're roasting, we tend to do three bursts of steam, and if you're baking bread, we tend to do two. So I'll just select two bursts of steam, and then with this model, the oven will give you the option of either doing manual bursts of steam or to time control. If you do time control, that means that you don't need to come back into the oven and keep on pressing that button uh, for the oven to be, for the steam to be released. So we'll tell the oven to release, release the steam straight away and then you will get a message. Each burst of steam will be 100 milliliters of water. So if we're doing two bursts, the oven will require 200 milliliters. I just grab my glass of water under the suction pipe, press OK, and then as you can see the oven, it's having a drink of water. On top of that, this oven comes with a few extra features. The first one will be a wired temperature probe. So the only thing that you will have to do is just plug the probe to the side of the oven, get the tip of the probe into the fleshiest part of the joint that you want to cook, and then from raw, roast your joint of meat in the oven with, with the probe plugged in. This is going to ensure you have perfect results every single time you roast any type of meat. Two more features which aren't worth mentioning from this oven. The first one is the option of turning your oven into an air fryer. So to do that, the only thing that you have to do is press this little um, icon with the arrow pointing to the left. And as you scroll down, you will see that your oven is giving you the option of activating the crease function. By activating the crease function, you can remove any humidity the oven is producing, um, which will result in really crispy results. So if you're doing roast potatoes, if you're doing oven fries, if you're following literally any single air fryer recipe, that will be your go-to. The next feature, which is worth pointing out from this oven, it's called taste control, which prevents any food from overcooking, over drying, etc. If you're using the temperature probe, if you set a duration, or even if you use one of the automatic programs, and by the way, with this oven, you have as well some country-specific automatic programs, including Yorkshire puddings. Um, what the oven will do when it reaches the end of the duration, as you will see in action in here in just a few seconds, it's going to slightly open the door and it's going to allow ambient air to get into the oven um, cavity and it's going to expel all the hotter the oven has created in between the control panel and the door. This ensures that if you're not around and you're baking a cake or you're baking some bread, it's going to look like if you take it straight away. And that means as well that if you're roasting any meat, you can actually leave the food to rest in the oven rather than taking out um, to rest somewhere else. On top of that, this oven is as well self-cleaning through the paralytic cleaning cycle. And with this specific model, you can actually leave your wire rack and your chrome accessories when you do the self-cleaning. All right, so as you can see right now, the oven is doing this taste control. It's completely safe. I can have my hands in here. I can feel the hot air coming. And then one thing that you can do as well, if you feel like your food just needs a little bit longer, press the clock symbol and just add a few more minutes 
and then the door will automatically shut again and will continue cooking. This is a Miller's Generation 7000 vacuum drawer, EVS7010. A vacuum drawer is an ideal gadget if you have a steam oven and you want to do things like sous vide cooking. Let's say, for example, you want to serve for your dinner tonight something like a duck breast. So in here, for example, I've got some lime, lime zest and I've got some satyr. Thanks to the vacuum drawer, I can completely remove all the air from this bag, which means then I can perfectly cook using the sous vide method. On top of that, this is the ideal device if you're into batch cooking or preparing your meals. Let's say, for example, you've made a massive batch of ragu or you've made a huge batch of soup. Thanks to portioning everything in here, you can keep in the fridge with no air inside, which means you can keep your food for a good seven to 10 working days perfectly in the fridge. Or if you place in the freezer, you can keep it for a few months. On top of that, anything that is completely vacuum sealed, once you place it in the steam oven to either defrost or reheat, um, it will do that much, much faster.